Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So, you're probably here for the new furniture, right? Yay! So this morning I woke up pretty early. I cleaned because it was quite messy with all of the uh, wrapping on the furniture. So yesterday I went to go pick it up and today they are fully installed and styled. I posted pictures on Instagram. So I'm gonna be sharing last night with you guys. I'll get that later so I'm gonna share with you guys the full like unboxing last night my son actually took all the cardboard and everything off of it and then once we're done with that I'm gonna show you guys this area again and then I'm gonna answer some questions also I've been out all day I'm just getting back home I just did a reel for Instagram and here I am and then I gotta get ready for a live at Six o'clock. I just heard my phone. Okay. All right. I'm excited because pieces are coming in. Oh. You guys, you guys, you guys. I told y'all that the way that my room, like the way that I wanted to set it up was I wanted to be able to sit here and record, sit over there by the window so you could see the pillow with the bed with the nice stands over there. I wanted to be able to sit on the bench so you could see the fireplace. I want every single inch of this house <laughs> to be workable for me to record. That way I'm not always like sitting in the same place. So I got these bench from Carico. You guys, it is absolutely gorgeous the minute i walked into the showroom you guys remember when my son was playing the piano i was like oh first of all normally these bench ottomans are so small but this one was so wide and i just knew it was gonna be the perfect touch into my bedroom You guys have to see it in the morning so i'm going to go ahead and unscrew the legs and add everything and then do the stoppers and everything like that but i have to go ahead and get ready to do this live with this um this chef on instagram but it looks so good and then the nightstands are going to be coming in and my dining table it looks so good i love it oh my gosh all right you guys here it is it looks so much better in natural light because you can actually see the fabric and see everything what i did is i went online and i took the measurement of the console and then figured the measurement in between the space so that way i can put that there um keep in mind that i have this but then i also have the bench and the colors are kind of similar but not the same they complement each other what i wanted to do is to be able to sit here and have the fireplace going but also to be able to sit here and then have that really beautiful vignette behind me which i feel like that's what's going to end up happening also you know if i'm sitting on the bench doing something the kids can grab this and pull it out and sit on it also but i really really do love this area as is and once the bachelor chest comes everything is just gonna come together you guys are gonna get the whole vision honey the vision so yeah i'm really happy with it overall the only thing is you know with everything it's just taking a lot of time you know covid has definitely put a damper on a lot of things so um outside of the time i love it i love it i love it if I could have, I would have changed the color, but this only comes in this one color. Again, what I want you to see on this is the thickness of this actual uh, bench ottoman. When you sit on it, you guys, it is incredibly, incredibly soft. And it, you can feel the spring in it. So the material that's inside is actually the same material that you would make your mattress with. So... If I go to push it down, you see that? So even though I was sitting on here for about an hour, 
it doesn't have the booty print which is always amazing so I'm really excited um, about the pieces that are coming in you guys but that's pretty much the setup you guys all right all right so you guys I'm gonna get comfortable because what I wanted to talk to you guys is about budgeting even though I'm working and you know I'm doing okay I still have to budget myself tremendously number one I'm responsible for the everyday things plus the monthly bills with that being said nothing has really changed from before my budget monthly for decor is about a thousand dollars sometimes it's less depending on how good or how not good I did for the month um, if I know that I have to make a big purchase like when I was purchasing the sectional in the credenza I hadn't ordered furniture in a while because I was doing the renovations. So I did the renovations and then I was putting away the $500. I was putting away $400. I was putting away $1,000. I was just putting things aside. So then I think four months had accumulated possibly. Maybe five had accumulated because I started putting money aside since March. So around my birthday, I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to go ahead and start placing orders. So I ordered the sofa. I ordered the sectional, then I ordered the credenza, and so it just kind of trickled down from there. Do I go over my budget sometimes? Yes, again, it depends on the month that I had. If it was a good month and I can, you know, do a little bit more, I do a little bit more. And if I can't do anything, I'm not going to kill myself to do anything. I'm just not going to do anything at all. So that is how I budget myself, all right? Number two, if you're looking to bring your home together and you are on a budget, then I would highly recommend doing like Marketplace or um craigslist definitely bring someone you know what i'm saying so that way you're safe and now that it's covid i would definitely say you know how important is it to you you make that call yourself if you want to do that um this is actually a piece for bernhardt but it's also a consignment buy i ended up purchasing a piece for a client and the person that i ought the person that i purchased it from she's an interior designer we exchanged phone numbers. We had a really good time talking to each other. So shortly, two months after, she was like, hey, I had a project going on. I ordered two pieces. They ended up changing their minds. And so I have this piece now. Would you be interested in purchasing it? I was like, sure. So then again, I spent 600. This was retailing for 16, 17, maybe even $1,800 online. I did look it up when she sent me the link just to see the measurements and see if it was going to fit anywhere in the house and so once I realized that it could fit into the master bedroom I was like perfect so I went on ahead and I got it as you can see I don't have a dresser in here partially because I have the closet and then I also have the closet over here too so I don't need um, a dresser so if you are like me where your room is a decent size and you don't necessarily need to have a dresser in your bedroom I would highly recommend doing a console or you know something similar to this that way um, if you want to do drawers you can have drawers at the top that way it gives your room like a really nice luxury feel the third option which is my option too is taking your time um, I calculated this yesterday and so now that I know that this is probably about six hundred dollars it went up for so 28 eight. so let's just say this entire area from wall art all the way down to the bench ottoman was like three thousand dollars clearly some of this stuff was already here I didn't spend the money all at once how I did it is I had the figurine and I had the coasters that I purchased along with the candle so the, the candle the figurine and the coaster was purchased one month and then I ordered these really beautiful blue books which these are going to be moved they're going to be going on my bathroom chest and I have to get um the cut glass to go on top all right and then I purchased a stone from home goods my crystal from home goods and then the sconce was gifted well back it up a little bit the wall art I ended up going into a trade show in Atlanta I found it thought it was going to be beautiful in here plus the colors matched my Hermes throw so I was like perfect went on ahead and I grabbed that one month didn't buy anything the following month the sconce they were gifted from Keschler 
I have a video coming up on that, probably coming out next year. And then two months ago, I did the Bench Ottoman and they just arrived. So I would highly recommend being okay with taking your time, especially now because of COVID, who's coming over, you know what I'm saying? Um, the thing for me personally is I really and truly want to be in love with every single thing that I put into my house. So if it takes me, you know, I don't know. I, I had so I spoke to my friend yesterday and I said it's so crazy because I said, um, well, if it took if it took like two and a half years for the last house to come together, I'm going to say me being by myself is going to take me four years to get this house together. And it's actually taking less time and I'm able to put really quality pieces in the house. So. I would highly recommend taking your time and making sure that the things that you're bringing into your home, like you really do love it. The thing that I I said, and I'm going to continue saying this, is if you're purchasing it and you're thinking to yourself, like, if I have a garage sale, is this going to be in the garage sale? Then I would say not to purchase it because it's probably going to make the garage sale list or it's going to just kind of linger or whatever the case may be. So I would definitely say, like, love it. Be in love with it, like it. When you spend the money and you see your account looking kind of funny, you're like, you know what? It's okay. Because what I bought, I wanted it and it's going to make me happy. So that's that. Those are my three tips. Consignment, taking your time, and just like really budgeting your buys and really making sure that you love everything. Don't forget, you guys, you have to measure. I haven't had anything come in just yet that didn't work out, thankfully. But definitely don't forget to measure. But um, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. Just wanted to kind of come and just talk to you guys really quickly. Today was a very, like, chill day. The house is clean. It smells really good. Waiting this long for pieces is quite annoying. I'm not going to lie. But I do understand. Um, I love having the feature of being able to customize the fabric. You know, nail head, no nail head, legs, color, and all that. So... I do understand when when it comes to that, there's going to be a little bit of uh, of a wait. So um, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you have a really, really great day. I'm going to lay down in the bed, listen to some good music. And, um, you know, this would be a really good time if I had drink wine to, like, have some wine. Because today's one of those, like, it's it's Friday. So it just feels like a wine day. But I don't drink, so um, I'm going to get me... Um, a glass of water and put it in my champagne cup but anyway you guys have a really good day i'll see and talk to you guys next time bye